Life Track with Chuck Swindoll is a presentation of Insight for Living Canada. For some unexplainable reason, we seem to outgrow a close relationship with God. If your experience was like mine, when you were real small, you had a, an intimate feeling toward Him and you brought Him the, well, in adult world and adult talk, you brought Him the most trivial things and you just had in a childlike faith the confidence that He cared about them and He, and he met the need and there was nothing too small, there was nothing too big to ask of Him. Just like a child talking to his mother or to his dad, he just, he was just there and you felt free to relate to him in that intimate way. Somewhere between childhood and adulthood, however, a distance grows. We feel increasingly less close to God. Sort of a fear builds up. Maybe by then we have done a number of things that we're not pleased with and certainly not proud of and maybe even ashamed of. And though we know he forgives and though we know he wipes our slate clean. We, we feel that those things have caused that sense of distance, and how could we ever feel as close to Him as we once did? For years I've wondered why we don't have the closeness in adult life that we had when we were children. I was reminded of just how open and close children feel when I came across a little book recently called Dear God. It's a wonderful little book. It's sort of disarming and the theology isn't always great because kids don't have great theology, but it's a series of letters that children have actually written God. It's terrific. One little letter from Alan, age nine, reads, Dear God, I saw the Grand Canyon last summer. Nice piece of work. <laughs> Isn't that great? Who would ever think of saying that to God? Nice work. Here was another one. Dear God and Jesus, I'm a big follower of you guys. I root for both of you all the time. Keep those miracles coming. Your best friend, Stephen, age eight. The next one's from Mike, age 11. Dear God, I think, I think that you are very kind and generous. Can you see if I can get a bigger allowance? No need too small, no request too great. Then this one from Marty, age nine. Dear God, I wish I could spend all my time with you. We could go to beautiful places together, like Paris. We could fill all the world with love. <laughs> we could make every kid and grown-up smile. I don't think you can do it alone. Why don't you make me a special helper? My family and my teachers will understand. <laughs> I'm willing to give up some kid stuff. It will be for a very good cause. How about it? With all the love in my heart. Marty, P.S. I would like to take my pink and white dress with me if that's okay. Just the closeness, just the sense of caring. There is nothing too big and nothing too small, nothing that he's not interested in. But in the process of a period of time, as we get to be adults, something seems to happen. There seems to be this sense of uh, distance. I think if I were to ask adults to write God a letter and take a rambling sample of what they write, I think it would be altogether different than what they wrote as children. As a matter of fact, I, I think probably there will be written across the pages of those letters feelings of guilt and fear and sort of pleading for relief from these feelings of distance. We have so much to learn from children. As we age, we can feel less close to God than when we were younger. For some reason, we forget that there's nothing in our lives that He's not interested in. There's absolutely nothing too big and nothing too small for God. He cares about everything. This is Steve Johnson of Insight for Living Canada. Listen to more of Chuck Swindoll's Lifetrack messages at lifetrack.ca. Lifetrack, where life and truth meet. The preceding Life Track presentation was brought to you by Insight for Living Canada. The original message, Hope Beyond Guilt, Becoming Living Stones, was copyrighted in 1988 
and this life track sound recording was copyrighted in 2014 by Charles R. Swindoll Incorporated. All rights are reserved worldwide.